Okay, continuing on with the QRP low cost ATU manual tuner kit and um, this is how I've mounted it all the coil and capacitors on the top the, the um, sensing board is here this is my 49 to 1 ballon wide in here what I've got to do I've got to run an earth wire from here all the way along to this connector I've got to solder the LED in the board here and what else have I got to do yeah now I've got to connect that up I've actually tested the 49 to 1 ballon and that seems to work okay I'm short of a switch I'm going to put a switch in here and that will switch between the coax and the ballon the high impedance but at the time being I've got them connected in parallel uh, yeah and then it'll be um, testing time oh, I've got to put some I'll, once I've tested it I'll put some uh, silicon around here to hold the windings in place but I won't do that until I'm happy with how everything's going right so please keep watching and see how it ends up being finished now I remember to put this wire in here sorry that's my phone remember to put this wire in here which goes from the screen of that connector to the screen of that to connector and the earth I've got to solder two wires now that one is for the input capacitors and that one's for the output capacitors there and uh, yeah should be able to get that in quite easily in conclusion about this kit what do I think about it value for money excellent because you, if you bought all the individual bits that would be more expensive than buying the kit the box is a nice quality um, bad things uh, right bad things the mistakes <clears throat> one is on the sensing coil for the LED the two windings should be a 5 and the 5 should be a 2 that's easy sorted uh, people complain about the holes being drilled uh, the markings for drilling the holes I didn't have that problem um, the winding has to be done depending on um, whether you want a clockwise to increase inductance <clears throat> or an anti-clockwise it's entirely up to you how you wind the coil and attach it to the switch um, it shows an earth wire on the end of the 10 turns on some wiring diagrams which is wrong the only earth is for the center connection of the switch um, I've added the 49 to 1 ballon in mine which works absolutely fine uh, the, I've wound the coil to suit me and so I've got the twisted on the top here rather than on the bottom um, having all that stress on the switch contacts is not a good idea so I've put thinner wires running down to the switch rather than having the coil wires directly <coughs> I've done the layout difference I've done it so most of the components are on the top and in the bottom is mainly the, the switch and of course I've added the 49 to 1 ballon which is sitting there <coughs> excuse me did it work first time no it didn't and the reason for that it was a mistake I made I didn't clean off enough enamel on some of the wire connections for soldering so one was like open circuit but that's easily, easily checked with a multimeter uh, the other thing it doesn't say in the instructions um, when you tune up use low power and bearing in mind my transceiver is fixed on 5 watts 
the small resistors here got quite hot so if you want to turn up on higher wattages say five five watts um, you really need to have 10 watt resistors in here the 51 ohms they need to be bigger because they do get very hot when I was tuning up um, you know it couldn't touch the board um, I'll try and demonstrate it in a minute so you can actually see me testing it right I've got the actual radio on 14075 at the moment I'll just tune up bear in mind we're in a dummy load let's stick it at 200 there okay it's grumbling away to itself let's switch on okay it's tuned up on the dummy load I'll press the transmit no light go off tune there we go there's the light let's put the camera up Transmit red light gone. And that is an SWR of one. Okay, switch over that way. over again not an ideal test but that's the way I've done it and I've done it on the 40 meter 20 meter uh, the 10 meg band and a few other bands with the dummy load and um, it will actually tune which what you expect but the position of this will be in different positions depend on the frequency bear in mind the lowest setting like a i've set it for is the lowest inductance so that'll be the highest frequency and as i to go around here obviously it's the lowest frequency so thanks for watching please subscribe and like and to be honest um, apart from you need to tune up on one or two watts I can't do that with this radio because it's fixed at five but it works extremely well for the price so once again thanks for watching please subscribe and like